These are records, man, that I don't even recognize. Artists or anything. This is money. Anything Bose sells so easily and for such good money, that's a great find. Got I've been selling the Fillmore posters for 30, 35 bucks each. This is outstanding. These records, more, more albums. That's great. Look at that. More records. Holy smokes. Previously on Locker Nuts, I attended a different type of auction. This was a pallet auction put on by a moving company. I bought about 10 pallets from four different lots, including a large lot containing a couple of guitars. I filled my truck and trailer to the brim and headed home. So far we've seen some awesome items, very clean, high quality, and expensive. But we stored it on the side of our house and there's a lot more to get through. Rain is expected shortly, so the race is on to get the rest sorted out. Alright, what's up Locker Nuts? Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. Rain's coming, approximately 1 p.m. That's the forecast. I'm trying to get ready. We got all these boxes back here. I'm trying to sort, make piles, dump on the truck. Regular flea market stuff on the trailer to go to our storage. Better stuff's going in the garage. We're on a time crunch. We got a lot to do today. I'm missing auctions. Boo. All right, let's get to it. Okay, Jenna's basically sorting through to see which box oh look how cool that is look at that jenna oh yeah it's california california with the heart around the bay area that's actually really really cool this is kind of nice right here it's got the artist's signature here and it looks like in pencil you know i don't know if that's a digital print or if that's something that they did with the hand but really really interesting and nice oh look at that there's another one definitely something digital Oh, there's something else very similar another really nice piece right here definitely like the frame it's metal it's a nice frame look at that cool oh look at that turntable uh oh we might be upgrading before we get too excited but it definitely <laughs> It's in here. It's either brand new or put back in its dust sleeve. Oh man, this girl. I can definitely appreciate her style. Look at this. She puts it back in the dust sleeve. Oh uh, yeah. All the cords, manual, everything. Oh, that's an excellent one, huh? I think so. I should look it up. What are you thinking? Are we upgrading or what? I like the little one we have, but whatever. It's a nice box right here. Good stuff, those prints. Turntable and now. A very nice fan right here. Blizzard remote control fan. Oh, man. Brand new in the box, not even open. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah. This looks pretty good. I don't know what that is? That's a Marshall electric guitar amp right here. And a bunch of albums, all in the plastics. Let's take a quick peek here. These are records, man, that I don't even recognize. Artists or anything, they're definitely off the wall. Fake problems? No effects? Okay, there's a group that we, at least we've heard of. Low talker? just so I think these are like esoteric triple crown records all right so this one got bent and we moved probably okay we're just putting these in the garage we're gonna have to sort these later this is gonna take some time and we don't have time with the rain all right It doesn't really get better than this. As far as like clean and high quality, you know? We definitely can find some bigger ticket items, but as far as just being a fun locker to go through, this has definitely got it going on. It's pretty nice. Okay, 
this little huh, look at this a little box with like scraps like teeny bopper magazine scraps is leonardo dicaprio um and uh a whole bunch of concert tickets so earlier we found late 90s concert tickets and 2003 so not quite vintage but i don't know if there's a market for all these concert tickets and we got some coinage mostly foreign currency it's all foreign coins in there huh and there's a little green day all right we got the cigar box yeah. that <laughs> look at this it's a shell polished oh, it's, really pretty. it's an oyster shell that's really cool i've never seen one like that polished in, i mean never in a locker anyways she has nice stuff she did she had money she traveled you could tell she went to lots of little gift stores and bought some arts and craft finer type stuff a lot of artwork that's nothing special it's just a little shot glass it's december is it's pretty cool, yeah. Minnesota, huh? State Theater. Yeah. It's it's actually signed a number too. I know. There's that a few might of be them in something. there. Really? Yeah. I that could be worth something. I have more. I'll show them to you. That's these, very cool. These little tiny. No, I, I've been selling the Fillmore posters for thirty, thirty-five bucks each. The national. The national. She, I think we found a T-shirt or a sweatshirt with the national on it. It's brand new. This is a Fillmore Auditorium. Oh, Denver, Colorado Fillmore. Hmm. Very neat. This is super cool. Get some towels. These are nice towels. Those are fine to go to. Hotel collection. Hotel collection? Yeah. All right, let's see. Incense perfumes. Ah, uh, this is cool. It smells good too. These little cones, cone, cone incense. Ah, that smells good. Uh, she like wrote lyrics from songs down. Huh. She took, spent a lot of time on that. Oh my gosh, she has like picture books. The greatest radio head. Um, oh, that's a bad language. If it's a diary, let's put it aside. I got two of diaries already. It's music stuff, mostly. Oh, she wrote down the music lyrics. Oh, she was really into music, obviously. Yeah, she had two guitars. There's more, and... and there's also more audio equipment in one of those boxes. I don't know what it is. Sweet. So, is this there? is a great, yeah, that's all garbage. Oh my goodness, huh? Yeah. Spends a lot of time doing this stuff, though. Oh, this is nice because this is graph paper. That's cool. DKMI. It is. DKMI reading glasses. That's good, right? They're reading glasses. I mean, you have to have the right prescription. If they were sunglasses, it would be great. But these are all prescriptions. And she starts these things and puts a tremendous amount of time. She's very organized. Yeah. Ooh, a luggage tag. That's cute brand new. Dude, she has spent money. Yeah, she really has. Oh, I'm going to keep the luggage tag for the kids. And these coasters, aren't those cute? Look at these 12 little owl coasters. Look how cute they are. We're going to keep those. Oh, isn't this what you like, these little tools? It's more reading glasses. The Leatherman. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a Leatherman? Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's put that aside. I'll go put that on oh, We your found desk. one of these chains before. Oh, it's like a bike um, chain. Be great if I uh oh, don't know. <laughs> Those don't work for me. All right, we got a little Sony digital camera. That's cool. That's what I just had the battery charger for. I'm liking that. A little Burt's Bees action, brand new. Yes, this is good. This little Zone Gear stuff. Liking it. There's a nice little headphone, Apple headphones with the lightning port, the newer ones. Those are staying with me. All right, back to it. I realized my camera kept shutting off, shutting off, shutting off. 
I realize I'm out of storage, even though I got the biggest storage possible on the new iPhone. And even though I'm regularly clearing it off, clearing it off, clearing it off, putting it on a drive, I bought a five terabyte hard drive last week. Um, I'm not keeping up with it. It still fills my 500 gigabyte phone. Crazy, I've been filming so much. Great stuff in this locker though. Let's keep going. Oh, there's another one of these. Found two of these already today. Maybe this, yeah, I think this is the same one. It says pink lemonade. It's numbered. I'll have to look these up, they're nice. There's another one. Paradise City. Huh. I doubt if those are seriously expensive. I think they probably bought them from some like, street side vendor or something. Maybe they did an arts craft there. Or maybe they had a friend that did it. Lyrics and Another Planet Presents. Brand new, it's a brand new. So that's kind of neat. Not terribly valuable, but it is an interesting piece. We'll bring that to a better flea market. And let people geek out over it. Oh, yes. Yes, you guys. This, I think I have the box inside the house. We found the box earlier, and I kept the box because I was saying, I hope we find the bows. This is money. Anything bows sells so easily and for such good money. That's a great find. Great find. Okay, what else we got here? Just the other one. Yeah. Uh-oh. Whatever it is, it's juicing out here. Capri olive and lemon wood candle. It smells really nice. It actually smells really, really nice. It's made a mess in here, but it doesn't mean it's not salvageable. All right, I got that. I got that burning. And uh, you see the, the wax is all settled on one side. Probably it's got olive oil or something in there. It makes it a little bit looser wax, so it doesn't like, it's not super, super stiff, but see if we can get that heated up see if it'll right itself uh yes but check this out those are the speakers we found that is the right box this companion t we're gonna have to look those up boom that's an awesome find okay guys starting to get a little bit chillier and i can feel the moisture in the air it's definitely going to rain very soon but the forecast says it's pushed back from 1 to 2 p.m so we maybe we have a little bit more time but um it's a coming. All right, so here's Adidas right out the gate. Adidas, that's a good money. Nike basketball shorts, it's a good money. Um, a lot of clothes, and this is a let's use some nice warmer wear down at the bottom. Cold weather clothes, that is the key word right now. Cold weather clothes, because it's cold, and people are. And Old Navy, it's nothing too special there, but um, it's good stuff. All right, we're gonna go through that a little bit later because we've been finding North Face, we've been finding REI, we've been finding some good clothes, and uh, this deserves a little bit more time and attention. Okay, look at that IKEA pillows, good pillows. But let's get some yellow in there. I think these are going to dump. Uh, we just we haven't been able to sell pillows real well unless they're foam. The foam ones still seem to sell. The ones are a hard sell, and even when we do sell it, we're talking like two bucks. That one's actually in good condition. But we're talking two bucks, two bucks at the flea market. It's not worth the cubic space that it takes up. Okay, I just moved the camera over to a different spot because this is a heavy box, and you can see why <laughs> immediately. And I'm not complaining, right? Make it heavy, bring it on. This is outstanding. These records, prawn. Did we look at these before? I don't know. Yeah, I think we did look at this box. They're all starting to look the same because these, I do not know these bands. These are not bands I'm familiar with. So these cardboard boxes are getting a little bit um, fragile. I don't know what the right word is, but they're starting to get a little soft on me. They moved around with heavy stuff and they've been under tarps, but they still been up doors for a short while. So I'll put them in these plastic bins. Oh, look at these bands, Pug Destroyer. That's from a movie. Um, this looks really good. I mean, 
Like y'all had good taste in music, so even though I haven't heard of these bands, I'm sure they're pretty decent bands. And the girl was into music. She played the guitar, went to lots of concerts. Oh my goodness. More, more albums. That's great. I just looked in another box. Check this out. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at that. More records. Holy smokes. The early November. I do not know these groups. Probably where a cassette came in, that'd be my guess. Cassette. And this one's still 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 sealed. That's funny. Okay. Oh, these are still sealed too. Look at this. Is there something in there? Nope. Okay. Huh, I wonder if this Gail Delton records. She was a lot a lot or Maybe she sold them, I don't know. Here's the, here's the journal. This little polys for the 45s and polys for the 33s, that's great. I can use those. Here's a nice flashlight. All right, I'm looking around here. I only see two more boxes. One here, and this, well, this is a big one, so that's good. But I mean, I have the bed, the pieces for the bed over here. We got a big TV over here, let's take a look at that in a bit we're still racing against the rain uh two boxes i'll tell you what i'm i'm feeling that sad feeling when you have a good locker and you're going through it and it's so much fun and i am definitely enjoying this one. Ooh, maybe there's one more it looks like a lamp box hopefully that's from the good locker uh when you're going through it you get to the end there's this little bit of sadness uh you start going, oh man, I want it to be over. I want it to keep going. It's like when you're watching a movie and it's like so good and it ends, you're just like, ah, oh, you know? <laughs> That's where I'm at right now. But let's get through these last two boxes. Hopefully they're as good as the others. Man, it's so heavy. I'd not be surprised if this is records or books. Because those are the, some of the heaviest things that we've come across so far. It's heavy. All right, doesn't look like, well, I see books. Do you see books? Okay, this is, oh, we did, maybe we peeked in this one before. I can't remember. This is an Apple CD player, DVD player. So it's cool. I have one because Apples don't come with disc, like, you know, your laptops and such don't come with those anymore. And here's a bunch of media CD RWs. So CD disc. All right, this is good. This is a uh, one terabyte drive one terabyte so these are great whenever i find these i keep them because with all the movies that we make and the huge files that they create uh i just back up stuff to these throw them in the drawer i'm building quite the library but if anything ever happened with youtube and they lost my files i could always bring them back oh look at this this is a power plant so it's a battery backup i mean you know like a charger for your phone and uh but it's beautiful nomad I've owned a Nomad product before and it was absolute garbage, so hopefully this is not as bad as the other thing that I had, which was a car charger. Um, yeah, we'll give this a charge and see if it'll hold, but uh, that's decent. Good stuff. Pearl Jam. Put that in the flea market box. That's great. Great album. What do we got here? We got a heating blanket right here. Like, again, looks brand new. Barely used with the heating element here. That's great. All right. Another little charger cable. I'm loving those, the Apple ones. The good stuff, not the knockoff brand. All right. Okay, we'll get this looked at here. Trash. Filth and Grime Crew, Oakland, California. Street Creeps. Got a whole bunch of like skateboard stickers. That's what it looks like to me. Must be a, um, maybe a group or something, Filth Grime. Good, batteries. Put that in the 
house I have a little battery stash 2032s I use those a lot for remotes and calculators and things when they come in they're almost always out of batteries look at those little clips with rings on them so you can hang photos and such that's pretty cool and all this hanging wire for hanging your pictures up pen refills that's what it looks like it to be is a hardware box with a whole bunch of hanging hardware for pictures and such. jenna has been doing pretty good with these books. She's been bringing them to half price books. Steve Jobs, I just had one of these recently. Brought it to Stockton, didn't sell it. Um, Herman Melville, Moby Dick. These are great books. I mean, really. <sighs> Hologram for the King, Dave Eggers. Dave Eggers. Um, it's a nice looking binder. She brought uh, the first batch of two half price books. It was like 15 boxes or something. And she got like 90 bucks. Oh, look at that. There's the box for the battery backup. Like I said, Nomad, I don't, I don't particularly like that company. But uh, anyways, she got, I think, $81 the first time she brought it. Second time she brought it, uh, 100 bucks, 100 bucks. Ooh, there's an Apple mouse, Apple mouse. This is the same one that I use on my desk right now. Mine has a crack in it, it still works, but uh, I won't be selling this. I'll put it in the drawer and wait till mine dies, or maybe when the kids need it. These are like 50 bucks right here. That's a good find. Okay. Um... What is this? Let's bring that to the bookstore. Second time she went to the bookstore, she got a hundred bucks. hundred bucks. And there was only five or six boxes. Um, maybe No, there's four boxes. That's cool. Some kind of band book right here. Uh, hundred bucks. So she's gotten 180 bucks in books so far, just from the pallets. And a little notepad from... With echo friendly paper brand new in the pack these are some mints brand new in the pack it's funny huh it says poison and then like it was crossed out mints for friend and it's friend spelled wrong that's kind of funny huh look at that <laughs> lots of little zany stuff a lot what is this oh a little candle that's cute it smells good too clear wood thyme and basil yeah so jan's done good with the half price bookstore this time usually we don't get squat and the reason we're doing so she's done so well recently with the half price books is because these are not just regular old books right these are good brand uh good i don't know about that one the angelina jolene like autobiography or something i don't know um new york edward rutherford I mean, there's some American classics in here, and then there's some newer stuff, but they all look like they came right off the shelf. Leaked demos by the brand new. You know what? We should probably put these with the music that we're going to bring. Oh my goodness, this is a cool bag right here. Look at this. Tech Force. Ooh. That is a nice knife. Ooh, it's sharp. That is beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Hold on a second. Yeah, I got a Kershaw knife. I love this. It's a little dirty right now. I will clean it up. Um, still pretty dang sharp, though, even though it's dirty. Um, this is a nice looking knife right here. Yeah, I'm going to look that one up. Looks to be brand new, practically. What is this? You guys know what that is? Huh. Some kind of a clip clamp. What's it for clamping though? Aloha Hawaii vintage art postcards. That's very cool. Brand new sealed. My goodness. It says cricket right here. Little knife. It is not sharp at all. 
I like getting knives, they do sell very well. Okay, that one's a little sharper. And this is a Gerber. I like it's got the paracord leash on it. It's a nice knife. So I got another one on a paracord cricket, another cricket knife. I don't know what that is. Not sharp. Got some patches here. Outside lands, outside lands. I'm not sure what that is. I got some little buttons here. These are cool. I'll give that to my daughter to sell. Hop in, dork. <laughs> With the spaceship. That's going to my daughter. A Nike. What was in here? Hmm. A couple more tapes. What's this? This is Theraband. I just love going through these little boxes. It's so fun. Even though some of them are empty. Flask, it said. I think we found that flask somewhere else. Uh-oh. This could be good. OC Tanner. Come on, be in there. Huh? Okay, what's that? This is Follett. F-O-L-L-E-T-T. -T. What is that? Hmm. We'll definitely have to look that up. Some more music CDs. Oh, new lyrics. Oh, Bill. Is that Bill Murray? You're awesome. It's a journal. Okay. No, is that Bill Murray? Oh, no. It's kind of interesting. Serious? Brand new. Media pass, huh? Punchline. It's a sticker. Okay. Uh, I hope you guys like watching this kind of stuff. I like it. It's kind of fun. I just don't know what I'm... Every bag, I don't know what I'm going to find. Like here, for example... Sock puppet cards, brand new in the bag. Look at this, three dollars seventy-five cents each. Happy birthday! You're like an old sock I can't throw away. We're friends for life, and that's how we'll stay. You know too much. <laughs> Happy birthday! If you were a dog, you'd be dead by now. I'm glad you're not a dog. Happy birthday! That's hilarious. No birthday song, no party hat, no candles lit. You're too cool for that, and I got <laughs> stuff to do. All right, that's pretty funny. Um. Season's greetings to you. These are brand new greeting cards. It's amazing. Uh, it's another journal. A really cool one. She wrote on the first two pages and then nothing. Hmm. Write more happiness into the world. Brand new. Cool. Okay, real quick, let's open this. See what's in here, but I'm saying almost definitely a 45. Okay. okay. Candies. <laughs> All right. July, what we signed up for? What is this? GDP in the front bottoms. Brand new sealed. I don't know this band. But is this some sort of like music club? Does she belong to some like record mailing club or something? This is what we signed up for. July, and I think this is a band July. So there's like two CDs. There's a CD and a record in this box. I'm perplexed, but I'm happy. All right, you guys, I hope you're enjoying going through these pallets with us because we sure enjoyed it. You may have heard me mention that this is about as good as it gets. And not for value, like I've had some really good high value lockers, like the third time lockers, outstanding, really cool stuff, old stuff. This locker is more new stuff. But what I meant by that is that it's high quality. The girl had money and she spent it on nice things and is clean. Like if I were to pack our house, like I think we have a clean house. If we were to pack our house into a locker, I think it would be pretty comparable to this. 
the gal was clean and I definitely appreciate that. Going through plenty of lockers in my days, I definitely appreciate that. But also, she kind of had, she had good taste and kind of a quirky sense of humor. So we had fun looking at the little buttons and the journals and all the things that she had bought just because I know she just thought they were cool and wanted to have it. And uh, that made it a lot of fun too. So I hope you guys experienced a little bit of that enjoyment as well going through this with us. Um, but of course, let's not forget the best thing to come out in this episode was just uncovering box after box after box of records. And these records aren't like the records I found in the past. I'm always finding them loose. The covers are really, really roughly worn. Sometimes we get the records in decent shape. It's not that often though. They're usually just not great condition records or covers. In this case, they're almost all near mint. Almost all near mint. And in a lot of cases, I don't think the records were even played because I found in the CDs a lot of times matching titles. I think she played the CDs, kept the records to collect. I don't think they've ever even been touched a needle. And they were nice records too. Some of the vinyls were like marble. They'd have like lime green and orange, like all marble together. This is some really nice limited edition printings or presses. And uh, that was cool. I don't know how much video I got of that. I'm gonna try to go back and get more for you guys so you can see, really see just how special these records are. Right now they're on consignment with our friend Tom Cruise. He's got the collection at his warehouse. He sells records. And um, we're trying to find a buyer for them right now. Over there, he's got a lot more space than I do. Uh, you know, I'm a little tight on space right now. But also, he's got buyers that come in all the time, and if it's the right match for them, then they're right there so you can show them to them. These are definitely niche records. They're niche bands, fringe stuff. Uh, mostly alternative and modern rock, but I listen to that kind of music and I don't recognize 95% of the bands that are in there. There's some stuff that's way out there, like the brand new, I, I get that. Manchester Orchestra, I love their stuff. But the most of the bands in there, I'd never even heard of them before. So this is some real niche product. If we list these records, it's probably gonna take a while to sell because, you know, there's limited titles because there's limited buyers. So good and bad, right? Low supply, but also low demand. But the albums look like they're ranging mostly between 15 and $30 each. Some a little bit more, some a little bit less. There's about 350 full-size LPs there. So we've got some money there. We definitely got some money there, but we gotta find out how we can sell them quickly. Otherwise, we're gonna have to list it and grind it out. But we'll update you guys as we go as to the progress and where we're at. We still have a little bit more video to share with you. I mentioned I was getting sad because we're almost coming to the end, but we're not really. We, I forgot, we had like four more boxes in the garage to go through. And I found a couple other things too that just got tucked away. We still have that palette I bought that said Sean's Games. That's interesting. We're definitely gonna look in those. And then we have the one that had the safe in it. So we still gotta open that as well. So more to come. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, shoot me a thumbs up, all right? And subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you'll be notified when the next video comes out. And that's gonna come out real soon, all right? So I'll have more to show you in the near future. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lockin' Nuts.